At first, researchers thought their cameras were glitching. It was the only possible thing that could explain the weird view in front of them. Scalding water was blasting upward while cool methane was fizzing out right beside it. Such a combo wasn't supposed to even exist, but it did. Scientists were exploring the ocean floor near Papua New Guinea when they stumbled across a weird deep-sea hotspot. It wasn't like any other hotspot. There, super hot and cool methane-packed gas were bubbling out almost side by side. This almost never happens in nature, so the researchers were pretty shocked. They were cruising around with a deep-diving robot, the Rove Keel 6000, poking around underwater volcanoes in a remote island chain. These volcanoes hide all sorts of strange features, but nobody expected to find a full-on hydrothermal vent just tucked down there. Plus, other research trips had passed through the area before and missed it completely. This time, the robot's cameras lit up the seafloor and revealed a bizarre view. Boiling vents and cold gas seeping out of the seabed. They were practically touching each other. As you understand, normally these two things show up in totally different places. Hot hydrothermal vents form when underground water gets cooked by magma and shoots upward, carrying minerals with it. Methane seeps, on the other hand, come from cold, mushy layers of sediment packed with old organic matter. This stuff slowly breaks down and leaks out as gas. But at this spot, the geology created a perfect mashup. Under the volcano sits a thick layer of organic-rich sediment. Magma creeping up from below heats these sediments. But at the same time, it also heats mineral-rich water deeper down. So you get two very different fluids, blazing hot vent water and cooler methane gas. Still, both are traveling upward through the same cracks in the seafloor. When they reach the surface, they escape just inches apart. So you end up with this bizarre little neighborhood where boiling mineral water and chilly methane bubbles are hanging out like best buddies. To ocean scientists, this is like discovering a unicorn that can also fly. It's weird, rare, and super exciting. An even more exciting thing is that right next to those weird hot and cold vents, an entire mini world of creatures has taken over the rocks. The place is packed with huge clusters of deep-sea mussels, long tube worms, little shrimp, and amphipods crawling everywhere, and even bright purple sea cucumbers sitting out in the open. The animals are so crowded together that it's hard to even see the rock underneath. Scientists are pretty sure some of these creatures are totally new to science, but they need a special trip just to identify everything living there. The strange mix of hot fluids and methane-heavy gas also changes the rocks themselves. The methane down there is super concentrated, while hot water coming from deeper inside the volcano brings chemicals with it. Together, they create unusual reactions underground. Because of this, metals like gold and silver have built up in the rocks, along with elements like arsenic, antimony, and mercury. It's like a chemical time capsule. The rocks show signs of an older, super hot phase when precious metals were forming. Today, the vents are cooler, but still active. Now, even though this deep sea area is rare and full of life, it isn't safe. Mining already happens nearby, and waste from the huge gold mine on Lahir gets dumped into the ocean. On top of that, Companies have licenses to explore the seafloor for minerals and gas. All of this puts the fragile vent community in danger because many of the animals here can only survive in these exact conditions. So scientists are urging for more research and strong protection plans before this one-of-a-kind ecosystem is damaged beyond repair. This underwater treasure needs to be saved before industry wipes it out. This discovery, though, isn't the only unique ecosystem we've ever found. In January 2025, a gigantic iceberg named A84, roughly the size of Chicago, cracked off Antarctica's George 6 ice shelf. This ice shelf is enormous on its own, 
stretching about 280 miles from end to end and about 820 feet thick. During the Antarctic summer, which is November through late February, the top of the ice shelf melts and forms long, skinny pools called ribbon lakes. They got that name because they really do look like giant icy ribbons stretched across the surface. Once A84 broke free and drifted off, it exposed part of the seafloor that had been sealed away under the ice for who knows how long. It was a place absolutely nobody had seen before. A research team aboard the ship Falkor 2 happened to be in the Bellingshausen Sea at the time. As soon as they got word about the iceberg breaking loose, they ditched their original plan. This was basically the deep sea version of flipping over a huge rock in the woods just to see what's living underneath it. For eight days, the scientists sent down their underwater robot, Subastian, and explored depths of more than 4,200 feet. Down in that freezing darkness, they discovered a hidden ecosystem packed with life. Huge corals and sponges formed underwater neighborhoods that were absolutely crawling with creatures. They were not just barely alive, they were thriving. So yeah, the scientists expected to find something down there, but they definitely didn't hope to spot a full-on underwater city of ancient life. There were sea anemones that looked like tiny fluffy trees, sea spiders marching around like creatures from other planets, ice fish, octopuses, and a whole mix of other animals. The entire expedition was live streamed to researchers around the world. By the way, the recordings are still publicly available if you're interested. Even cooler, the researchers think some of the creatures they saw might actually be brand new species. That's right, genuinely new species in Antarctica in 2025. A few might live only in this one area. And that makes sense because Antarctica is basically its own isolated planet. It's surrounded by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which acts like a giant watery moat that has kept the continent cut off from the rest of the world for millions of years. But even if the new species ended up being known ones, the scientists still found some extremely rare animals, like tiny snails, bristly worms, aka polychaetes, little crustaceans, and even the mysterious phantom jellyfish, which already looks like something from outer space. The scientific name for the phantom jelly is Stegiomedusa gigantea, but no one really needs that mouthful, so giant phantom jelly is fine. This thing is massive. Its bell, the umbrella-shaped top, can be more than three feet wide. It also has four long, ribbon-like arms that can stretch up to 33 feet. That's the length of a school bus. Actually, the first one was collected in 1899, but scientists didn't even realize it was a completely new kind of jellyfish until 60 years later. Its body is mostly see-through with a ghostly purple tint, and instead of normal tentacles, it uses those big, flowing arms to grab prey and feed itself. Even though jellyfish don't have brains, the way this giant phantom jelly moved caught scientists off guard. It seemed to steer its long arms with surprising control, especially when it drifted through tight spaces near the seafloor. It looked cautious and almost intentional, which is kinda unsettling. Another maybe kinda sorta smart creature lurking in the dark ocean? Great. The researchers also found bristleworms. Officially, they're called polychaetes, but bristleworms sounds way more fun. These worms are common in cold, deep oceans and come in tons of shapes and sizes. Their bodies are made of segments lined with tiny bristles that help them crawl, sense the environment, and defend themselves. One standout is the Antarctic scale worm, which has shiny golden bristles that make it look surprisingly fancy for a creature living in freezing darkness. So, as you see, there are still tons of places and things on Earth that don't seem real or aren't even supposed to exist. And even with our level of technology, we're unlikely to figure out all the wonders the world has to offer in the near future. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.